नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस अबाउट डेप्थ लिमिटेड सेच इन शॉर्ट वी कैन कॉल एज डी एल एस इन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस डेप्थ लिमिटेड सेच एल्गारिदम इज मेनली यूजफुल इन आर डेट टू ओवरकम द ड्रॉबैक ऑफ डेप्थ फर्स्ट सेच दैट इज डी एफ एस द मेजर ड्रॉबैक ऑफ डी एफ एस इज if the state space is infinite that means if the tree contains infinite number of nodes then dfs doesn't give the goal state then we may not get the goal state so that is the problem here so in order to overcome that problem in the dfs we use depth limited search depth limited search is is similar to the dfs but with a predetermined depth limit so here we have to set the here we have to maintain the depth limit so if we take this tree here depth of this tree is this is at level 0 these nodes are at level 1 these nodes are at level 2 these nodes are at level 3 so the depth of this tree is 3 if we take dfs then we have to set up to the deepest level that is 3 whereas if we use depth limited search then we will set the pre determined depth limit so instead of 3 we may set the limit as 2 now we will search up to 2 only we will search up to 2 only if we reach 2 then even though these nodes have successes we don't treat them so let we let the depth of the tree is 100 if we use dfs then we have to search up to the 100 100 deepest level whereas if we use depth limited search then we will set the limit let the limit is 50 then we will search up to 50 limit only 50 depth only the remaining 50 will not be searched the remaining 50 levels will not be searched so that is about what is depth limited search now let us see the points depth limited search can solve the drawback of infinite state space in the depth of first search so depth limited search is mainly useful in order to overcome the limitation of dfs so what is the limitation of dfs infinite state space so if the tree has infinite number of nodes then it doesn't use the correct solution it doesn't give the goal node okay a depth limited search algorithm is similar to depth first search with a pre determined depth limit so instead of searching instead of going up to the deepest level here we will maintain the pre determined depth limit so we will search up to uh, that depth limit only okay nodes at depth level are treated if they have no success nodes at depth l are treated as if they have no success so if the depth is 2 then even though this node has successes then we don't treat them okay so let us take this example first let us traverse the graph with the help of the dfs dfs means we will move up to the deepest level so what is the depth here 3 okay so first we will start from the root node <coughs> first let us explore this path so a to b so a next to b so explore this path so b to d explore this path h this is dead end so there are no there are no siblings there are no children of h so if there are no children of h then we have to do the back tracking so back track so now we explore d is there are any children of i yes yes we need to explore this i so move in this way so after h we will get i next there are no children of i okay so let us do the back tracking so all the children of d are explored okay so now let us do the back tracking here b this right hand part it is not explored so let us move in this way e next e children j is not explored 
explore this one so this is dead end so do the backtracking next this node is not explored so explore this node k next there are no children of k so do the backtracking next there are no children of e so do the backtracking there are no children of b so do the backtracking next this is unexplored child so explore this one c next explore this path f next explore this path l next dead end so backtrack so this is unexplored so explore this one m dead end so backtrack dead end so backtrack next g next n o g n o so here what is the traversal here if you use the dfs a b d h next i next e next j k next c next f l next m next g n o so let the go load is o so here we have o so this is the path from the start node to the go load okay if you use dfs then is then it is the traversal now let us apply the dls algorithm depth limited search algorithm let depth of this tree is 2 so here we are setting pre determined depth limit as 2 so this is nothing but 2 so now we have to search up to this depth only so even though this node has some successor we don't treat them okay so first what will happen let us here we are treating depth as 2 so we will move up to we will go up to this depth only so first a next b next d next this is the second depth okay next backtrack e next c next f next g so if you see here a b d next to do the backtracking e backtrack backtrack next c f g so if g is the go load then this is the path okay so this is about uh, dl dls algorithm uh, now let us see the uh, let us see some two points the first point is if l is less than d then what is the problem if l is less than d here l value is 2 let us take this scenario l value is 2 whereas what is d value d value is 3 whereas let us assume that the go load is o let us assume that the go load is o then what will happen here the predetermined depth limit is is maintained as 2 whereas depth of this tree is 3 as well as the go load is o actually o is available in the depth 3 but here the limit is taken as 2 so it doesn't gives the solution so here the point is it is incomplete so incomplete means it doesn't gives the solution so if d if l is less than d then it is incomplete why because here the go load is 3 whereas limit is limit is treated as 2 only so it is incomplete next point if l is greater than d let us assume that limit is set as 4 pre determined depth limit is taken as 4 whereas what is the depth of the tree depth is 3 only depth of this tree is 3 only whereas let us assume that l is 4 here at at fourth level we don't have any children so we can say that it is an optimal so this is not optimal it won't gives the best solution if l is greater than d then it is not optimal it won't gives the best solution so that is the point here next let us see the time complexity the time complexity of depth limited search is big o of b power l big o of b power l so where b is nothing but branching factor where b means branching factor branching factor so branching factor means the number of children's Does a parent node have? 
So if you see it, A has two children, B has two children, C has two children. So any node in this tree has two children. Okay. Whereas L means L means predetermined depth limit. So L means predetermined depth limit. Predetermined depth limit. If you take this L algorithm, so here B value is 2. So what is the predetermined depth limit? 2. So 2 power 2 is nothing but 4. So maximum we require 4 comparisons in order to get the goal state. Okay. Now let us see the advantages and disadvantages of this approach. Here the advantages are less memory, less time. Less memory and less time. These two are the advantages. So less memory means just like DFS only. In DFS also we have these two advantages. Here we are searching in a single path. So if the solution, if the goal state is not found in this path, then we will check in another path. So here we are searching in a single path. Initially, we are we are searching in a single path, and if the goal state, if the goal node is available in that path only, if the goal node is available in that path only, then what will happen? Then if you store all those nodes, then it is sufficient. There is no need to store the remaining nodes. So that's why we can say that DLS occupies less memory. Why? Because there is no need to store all those nodes. We are, we are, uh, first we are checking in a single path only. Okay. Next, second advantage is less time. So DLS algorithm occupies less time. Why? Because here we are checking in a path and assumes that goal node is available in that path only. Then we will get the output in a faster manner. Next, let us see the disadvantages. We have two disadvantages. The first two disadvantage is incomplete. The second disadvantage is not optimal. So, just like uh, depth for search, depth limited search is also incomplete. So, why? Because if the state space is infinite, then we may not get the solution. And it is not optimal. It won't give the best solution. So, this is about uh, depth limited search, DLS. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching.